come here. You know you can't knock the hustle. It's the way that we play. It's just another sunny day in California. Boom. We are in L.A. right now, city of L.A., ladies and gentlemen. Over to the left, home of the Super Bowl Los Angeles Rams. However, tonight, we're going to see the weekend. All right, guys, so we're just pulling in. It's literally been a mission to get here. Um, I had bought an eyelashes earlier, and I really need to start having, like, some, like, on hand now, be now that I know, like, how to, like, apply them properly, because I didn't know how to apply lashes for, like, a very long time. But you guys want to know my secret? Let me show you real quick. Take a well, I have to say, right? I didn't have any of those issues. <laughs> you know, I was pretty, you know, pretty much done up when I got here. Okay, so I recently discovered this Kiss Lash Glue Liner eyeliner <laughs> eyeliner from my girl Sandra she was like I was like oh we went to San Diego and I was like I can't apply lashes it's so hard I need help she's like girl you need to try this and oh my gosh this has been a life changer saver so I this is like my third or fourth one that I've gone through it's so easy to apply lashes I have I like I, I literally did it in the car right now, huh, babe? Yeah. What are you looking at? I just applied my lashes in the car. Like that's how good I got. I'm so proud of myself. But it's so easy. It's just like black eye eyeliner, and you just like put your lash on top, and then if you want, you obviously apply another layer on top. But I don't know what the like the issue was with like the glue and and putting it on the lash. Like I just could not do it for the life of me. I think because it was like. I can never allow it to get super sticky like this. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. So, long story short, sorry, it was a kind of long story. I bought my lashes and it ripped when I was getting ready and I was so freaking pissed. I need to start buying more. There was traffic here. It's Friday, it's Labor Day weekend, and we had to stop at CVS to get more lashes. And we made it. It started at 6.30, it's 7.13. I'm pretty sure he obviously doesn't go on right away, right? Yeah, the show started at 6.30, but there's probably openers. And we are now in general parking, been sitting in traffic forever. Yeah. And the worst part about it is, guys, I'm literally almost on E, like almost there, so. Damn. I don't know if we're gonna stay the whole time because yeah. we're gonna have to break for a gas station because I'm not trying to stay here with no gas, waiting for AAA to bring gas. By the way, shout out to Table Rock for these tickets. These were like unexpected. They literally hit us up two days ago and it's been a long week, guys, so we need to get out. And side note, our daughter Layla is super She's jealous. So I feel so bad. Yeah. I don't know when she became a weekend fan. I, that's, yeah. that's news to me, but I, I found out when she got a poster that she ordered on Amazon delivered to her house. And next thing you know, we're going to see the weekend and she was all huffing and puffing <laughs> and then more importantly we got some great seats we got floor seats guys yeah blessings on blessings mommy and daddy night out tonight We're about to go park and go inside if we could get to parking because uh it's crazy out here let me show you what the land looks like we're gonna run out of gas for you we better not it's gonna take like i swear like an hour to get in all right guys so we're walking to the stadium right now there it is Clear bag policy. Wait, there's a clutch bag. Okay, six. It's but I mean. Yeah, they're not gonna sweat that. Okay. If they do, you could run back, right? <laughs> You're gonna run back with me. All right, guys, looks like uh, we're on the floor. There's the floor entry. All right, guys, so we just got through the door. We got handed these uh, wristbands. Well, this is to get in. And then we got these LED wristbands, I guess they go off during the show. So if you've been to a concert, it's one of those things where, I don't know, maybe the weekend's gonna sing a certain song or... Oh, that's cool. I love you if we could take this tape off. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I don't know, but let's put it on you.
Oh, what's going on, fam bam? So it is the next day. I was a little tired from last night, <laughs> but we had a great time. It was pretty awesome going to the weekend concert. I've never been like a crazy like fan of him, but I obviously do appreciate him. I hear his music here and there. It was a really great show, and he puts on an amazing show. He's very theatrical, and I think it was I thought it was pretty dope. But it was the next day, and we have little mommies. Let me see your nails. What Let me see your nails. Oh wow, who did that? Sissy painted your nails so pretty. Are you tired? Yeah, you are. I, I know I'm gonna start because she actually hasn't taken a nap. But I'm in the car, obviously you guys can see. <laughs> She's faking. <laughs> She's fake sleeping. Where's your glasses? She just had her little glasses on, they're so cute. Um, I'm waiting for Robert. He's currently in the garage looking for a cord because we're heading to Dolores and Raul's house and we want to do some karaoke, but I don't Mommy. think he has all the cords. Mommy. <laughs> He's sweating. And then Elijah ran off to get some water real quick, so. And then we're gonna be on our way. We find a baby now. Okay. There's my guy. He's coming in. You got your water, my guy? No. <laughs> cool. She's so tired. I can tell she's like, once we take off, she's gonna knock out. Same. Hey! Why'd you throw your baba at your brother? That is not nice. I'm sorry. What's up, guys? So we just pulled up to Raul and Dolores' oh, out here in West Covina, and we gotta even get out the car because wifey's having an anxiety trip. I mean, it's just one of those days. I already explained I was tired, and... Where you at? Elijah, like, he's just on a good yeah, one so today. shit's gonna melt if we don't close it up right now. Okay. He's just really hyper today. Just one of those days. Dude, the whole time we were driving, he would not be quiet. He was just making He's a boy, weird six noises. years old. I told him it's how you control the situation. And, and it's like, this girl's like so impatient. I'm trying to get out of the car and it's like, hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm, I'm only one person. Everybody wants everything, something from me. I don't want nothing from you, babe. Yeah, you do. What do I want from you? My love. <laughs> I'll take that. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. There's a little pool situation going on. Right I was there. swimming earlier today. I'm just gonna have a little couple of dragacitos. All right, let's go, Kristen. Let's go, Brielle. Do that front flip, Papa. Right, right here, chilling. A little VIP section over here. Reminds me of a little day club. We got the drinks over there. Let's go do a drink check right now. Drink check. What you got, homie? Got uh, vodka. Okay. Uh, maybe I should do a red cup. Yeah, I got the Nicola Volta. cap right here. <laughs> he got the bumper. Jaime got the bumper. Hey, hey, you're allowed to that's when you're that, that's when you're that's at the next level right there. <laughs> bumper, drink check, drink check. Empty. <laughs> what? Cheers. The private lady. Drink check. Wait, let me make sure it's not vodka. Okay, show the progress. Show the progress. Stand up. Look at that. Because last time I checked it at Mountain Lakes, was it? Or somewhere. I was in your pregnant. Well, I was in Oh, see? There it is. Bam. She's doing one more month. Bam. There's a homeowner, the chef. What's up, Robert? What are we cooking here today? Uh, flanky ribs that just got done. Yes, sir. Robert. Maya. Go, oh, baby. Yeah. Say cheese. This is why everybody's like you, you can be anywhere else in the world right now. You can be anywhere else right now, but you know, we're at karaoke at Raul and West Covina. Hey. Breaking the tradition of Capland, but we're still poolside. We're still Who poolside. Are we? Hey, and we still got karaoke. What's all you want? Sick and just be
down on me. My, my wife, clap for my wife, clap for my wife. What's up, y'all? It's Labor Day weekend. The vibes are at the RDG Casa, so let's go check it out. Sub on Watering pizza. Extra pepperoni. Yep, you already know. What up, my everybody? At the Gutierrez, with the Gutierrez. Yeah, okay, she got that way. Grill, oh, look at Money Moons. I don't know you got that grilly skills, homie. Yeah, what's up, mom? What we got over here? We got some, some carne asada, some oil, some Budget King. Yeah. Best, best in the crown right here, dog. You know, you know, Corona right there. Over here, I'm on the Palomas. You know, we get down right here, baby. And cheers, everybody. Happy Labor Day weekend from our family to yours. We go, baby. You got hot dogs? Tablet section over here, my boys over here, my twinsies. What's up, guys? Happy Happy Labor Day weekend. Happy Labor Day. Uh, yeah. So I'm over here in our very first living room. This is the home of the Blackout Podcast, or has been for the last two months. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. We're trying to move into the new office space. Get up out of here. I know the hot, the wifey's excited because she gets her own. Because I have to work in the kitchen. Yeah, like, I, I think it's this is time, babe, you know, that I move forward. And this is a step into my new venture here with this Blockout podcast, with this Blockout network. Well, that originally was a plan. Obviously, you asked me. I didn't care about having that in here, which is fine. It's our house. We share it together. I just said, make sure it's out by the holidays. Because, you know, my Christmas tree goes Oh, yeah, there. I forgot about that. See, yeah, that's another reason. <laughs> it's like perfect timing. The holidays are around the right around the corner. I get to move into an office. Yeah, so she's taking my old office. and Not the whole thing. I mean, probably leave a little room for you when you're home and stuff. But. Whew, what a fun Labor Day week we had. I know we're a little bit behind, but it's because a lot of things have been going on. And we're going to get into that just in a little bit. You see, I got to fit smoke, smoke alarms. I, I ain't been around to fix that. <laughs> We had a great time. The weekend concert was fire. And I'm glad that we got a chance to go Friday and not Saturday. Though he lost his you know, voice on Saturday, he ended up canceling his show. I don't know if you knew that in LA. So we kind of lucked out. Yeah, because we actually had the choice to go Friday or Saturday. And I, have, I was like, let's do Friday because I knew we had that little barbecue to go to. And you were kind of like, really, you want to go Saturday? And I'm like, no, let's just do Friday. Thank God we did. Yeah, so that all worked out. And then the Labor Day, the karaoke is always fun. You know, with the RVG fam, mm -hmm. we always turn up with the karaoke. Our go-to is Ramona Yala. You know what I'm saying? Tacos amargos. We always have fun, me and Gabe. Greg, you, babe, you got down. You know what I'm saying? I cannot sing. But it's, <laughs> I have to say it was a different um, Labor Day weekend for us because we're always camping. Always at camp yeah. land. So we made our own little camp plan in, in their backyard, so. I love camp plan. It actually worked out that we stayed home because uh, there were some things happening that weekend. There was a reason why we stayed home, Michael, thankfully. Oh, my mom. My mom. Yeah, yeah, my mom. So my mom, update on her really quick. She's doing fantastic. I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last vlog, but she's still in the rehab center and, you know, she's uh, working her way up. You know what I'm saying? To uh, She's actually walking now and they're helping her. So we just want to make sure that uh, she gets, you know, fully recovered before she comes home and hopefully get back to uh, back to normal, you know, where she was. But she's a lot, all smiles now. So so that's that's kind of why I'm glad we stayed home here yeah. to be closer to her. All right. Now back to what we got coming up this week. Guys, we are so excited to announce that we are finally going to go live. Yeah. What I mean by that is we're going live. We're doing a little podcast style, right? So we want you guys to be a part of that. We're going to go live this Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be taking all of your questions, doing a Q&A. We'll be doing yes. a giveaway and, you know, just shooting the you-know-what, talking about our lives and anything else you want to know. Yeah, we're going to be switching things a little bit up, um, a little around, like on our YouTube channel and stuff. Um, you might not see too many daily vlogs. Not like you do already. Right? Yeah. And I think this is a way to, for us to at least give you more content, right? Yes. It's just a lot easier if we go live, to be honest and with you. And we just kind of got to stay updated with the times, too. It's like a lot of people are doing 
podcast on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hi. I happen to have one. It's okay. called the Blackout Podcast. What did you see? She probably saw the scary movie. Oh, that's okay. Okay, stay over here. Oh, stay, stay over here. She's watching that Turning Red movie where that big giant cat comes out and she's, scares everybody. It's a panda. Um, but oh, she does, panda. she really <laughs> likes that movie, but she gets scared on like two pieces and she comes, or two parts. So, so other than that, guys, hey, we'll see you this Thursday, 6 p.m., right here on YouTube as we go live. Yay. And then we have to do a giveaway, too. That's right. Like, right now. Maybe you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I might have to take So last vlog, craziness going on over here. <laughs> we announced uh, that we were doing a giveaway, RBG Fan Tumblr, and our winners are Miriam Ramos, Yay. Adonia Echevarria, hopefully I said your name right, uh, Cub Rice, the Keyman family, and last but not least, Cassandra Romero. Congratulations to all of you right there. And uh, yeah, you will receive your RBG Tumblr. We need you to message us, rbgfam8162 at gmail.com. All right, it's in our description in case you need that. And uh, send us your uh, address and all that good stuff. We'll get those tumblers to you. Of course, our tumblers are always brought to you by our homies, the Munoz Lawyers, Accident Attorneys. If you're ever in an accident or a personal injury, go get help. Go get help. That's right, <laughs> MunozLawyers.com or 855 Munoz Law. Those are our brothers right there. Family owned, Latino owned. We love you, fam bam. Bye. A boy and girl, and that would equal me and you. Sharing dreams while caught up in this moonlight. I never argued and never once caused a fight. Respect was the main key to our relation. Going on trips and spending three week vacations. You know.